Wow, Steve, would you mind not scraping your fingernails on that chalkboard? It sounds awful. Just getting warmed up, my friend, for a woman who turned a caustic voice and unique comic persona into a legendary career. I've been married for 13 years, and let me tell you, it's a thrill to be out of the house. I'm Randy Hodgins. And I'm Steve McClellan, and that little clip should have hipped you to the fact that today's legendary comic is Roseanne Barr, who wrote an unusual stand-up style to one of the most popular sitcoms of all time. Born in 1952 in Salt Lake City, Roseanne grew up Jewish in a Mormon town. Not easy. As soon as she turned 18, she decamped for Colorado, where after a few years she began doing stand-up. Over time, she honed a perfect comedy persona the put-upon housewife who has just about had it. It was fitting that another legendary comic with a put-upon persona, Rodney Dangerfield, gave her a breakout slot on his 1986 Young Comedian special. I never get out of the house, I never go no place, I never have no fun ever, 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 because I'm a housewife. <laughs> you a housewife too? Yeah. Yeah, I hate that word, I hate the word homemaker too. I want to be called domestic goddess. <laughs> Audiences took to Roseanne's act like catnip, and the network soon noticed. In 1987, Roseanne won an American Comedy Award and started in a highly successful HBO special. Soon thereafter, the ABC sitcom Roseanne began a nine-year award-winning run, and Roseanne was at the top of the comedy world. She also established that you made fun of her at your own peril. I mean, how hard is that anyway to write a fat joke about me? What does he do? Call all his writers and say, listen, guys, I want you to go out there on a limb. I want you to strike new territory. Stay fresh, stay hip, stay young, stay 90s, and come back to me, guys. Get this with a fat joke about Roseanne Barr. <laughs> a fat joke about Roseanne Barr? Well, they'll never buy it in middle America. A fat joke about Roseanne Barr? I don't know, RCDO. No, trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Eventually, some of her off-camera antics such as a screeching rendition of the national anthem at a San Diego Padres game and a contentious marriage to comedian Tom Arnold overshadowed her comedy, and she was fired from a 2018 revival of The Roseanne Show over an offensive tweet. Still, she managed to find unusual roles, such as a short stint as mayor of Portland on Portlandia. Isn't that guy a little old to be on a skateboard? He's like 48 or something. I mean, skateboarding is sort of the gulf of Portland, and people do it when they're older. Yeah, but I mean, when you get to be his age, you got to leave fun behind and start concentrating on, you know, retirement and all that kind of stuff. Despite, or perhaps because of, her raw and real comedy style, Rolling Stone named Roseanne the 38th best stand-up of all time. Not bad for a woman who was simply seeking the title domestic goddess. You can find out more about Roseanne Barr and all our comedy legends, including video clips and extended audio cuts at LaughTracksRadio.com. Thanks for listening. And until next time, it's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from him. Goodbye, everybody. 